Hello beauties, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shahrazad, and I love colorful makeup. Today we're gonna do another to buy or not to buy video. In these videos, I talk about makeup that has either recently released or has been announced by the brand, and I tell you if I'm intending to pick it up or if I'm not gonna pick anything up. I also encourage you to tell me in the comments below what you're thinking about these releases. Also, at the same time, I'm going to do this eye look with these two palettes, Los Angeles palette. Am I getting it upside down? I am, of course. And Fire and Ice palette. Let me quickly show you the inside of these palettes. This is from the H Cosmetics. Super beautiful. And this is from Nomad Cosmetics. Again, super beautiful. Usually, I pick palettes to do my eye looks with from brands that are releasing new things. So both of these brands are releasing new things that I'm excited to be talking about. If that sounds good to you, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now let's go into the video. Okay, beauties, I hope you're doing fabulous. I'm back with another to buy or not to buy video. Coffee here. And my candle, my pumpkin spice candle. We know that we are doing pumpkin spice in this channel year round. Maybe next time I'll do another candle. Oh, about next time. I'm actually going to be in Miami next weekend. So I'm not going to be able to do this. So we're probably going to skip next weekend. And then we're going to resume the following weekend. I haven't seen a lot come out, so hopefully we're not going to have a lot of stuff coming out next week to have an issue. Ahead of time, apologies for the noise. It's Saturday, sort of midday. There are cars on the road, and I live by a main road. I live in a very happening part of Austin. Let's jump right in. I'm going to come to this side so that we can do this. A lot of times I talk about restocks at the very beginning, but this time I kind of baked them in the middle. Uh, but before I get started, I want to say these two, Gal on Moon and Gal on Mars, have restocked from Gloss Gods. These are amazing palettes, friends. Beautiful palettes. I know I have a video with this one, Gal on Mars beautiful palette if you've been wondering whether you should pick it up or not you can check out that video i think i did eye looks and so on in that video as well swatches everything but wanted to mention that before we get started also quickly going through the fact that a bunch of things came out and i purchased them as i mentioned to you all last time so adept had two things released and i think they had sort of a mishap so what ended up happening was that they were going to release their arrow inspired palette on the 20th and they ended up releasing it early i think on the 18th by mistake and then they said okay now that it's released we're gonna sort of release it like and we're gonna just keep the release open or something like that so i ended up actually picking that up on the 19th i had mentioned i'm gonna do that it's not a sheet because i'm not gonna get the palette until who knows when and I'm going to be out of town next weekend, so I'm very unlikely to get the palette to actually play with it until February. And they also had the mystery bundle. Now, I was not planning on picking up the mystery bundle, although I had said in this channel that I was kind of thinking about picking it up. Like, I was just kind of saying that I'm curious about it, but I realistically didn't intend to pick it up. They had sneak peeked a couple of days before the release that there was going to be some sort of a palette in there. And it looked like an eyeshadow palette because the pans were small. Now, I guess that's not a good indication, but I speculated that it would be an eyeshadow palette. But friends, this past month has been very, very, very busy for me. It was just super intense. We're having some things going on at work, good things, which results in a lot of positive outcomes. But it was just working till late. Uh, yesterday was Friday and I worked until 9 p.m. So... I thought to myself, I deserve a little bit of pampering, and what better pampering can there be than a mystery box, particularly mystery boxes when you don't know what's in them. 
Friends have thought about making a video just talking about mystery boxes because I have a lot of experience with mystery boxes. I have done Beautylish three times. I've done Huda Beauty. I've done Jeffree Star. I've done, you know, a bunch of these other ones. So, uh, so I thought I'm just going to make a mystery box video. So if that's interesting to you, let, let me know down below. And if you don't want to let me know down below, you can just wait around for that video to come out. But that is something that I thought might be interesting to people, just for me to give some pointers on what I've observed with regards to mystery boxes. Anyway, the other thing is that Lure palette, as well as, what was the name of the other palette? Trove, I think, was the name of the other palette, the small multichrome palette that Blend Bunny had also got released yesterday, the 20th. Was it yesterday or two days ago? On the 20th, and I purchased Lure. I had mentioned that I was going to purchase it. I also purchased one for a friend, a dear friend of mine. So I'm excited about receiving that. I had mentioned that I'm not gonna re purchase Trove because I have a lot of multichromes and I need to use some of the multichromes I've purchased in the past few months, like the Cleona extension to stained glass collection, like the shine by sds that i swatched for all of you and so on but stay just tuned for those to come up in my channel you wanted to mention that as far as my new purchases are concerned those are the well three things that i've purchased so far now let's get into the new stuff but before we get into the new stuff let me put some of this this is glam light icing on my eyes just to Prime. If I did not mention this earlier, I am not going to be posting next weekend because I'm going to go to Miami. Well, I'm not going to have the to buy or not to buy, but I might have other videos. I'm going to Miami and I'm looking forward to be taking the time off from the insanity that January brought and just sitting by a pool or a beach or some somewhere that has sunshine and literally do absolutely nothing just just do nothing and sip on fantastic coffee and have amazing Cuban food looking forward to that okay let's get started the first thing I was gonna talk about is another collab from hip dot this time they're collabing with corn and Evanescence the two music bands and I remember Evanescence being a thing in early 2000s and Corn being a thing in early 2000s. Are Corn and Evanescence still a thing? Because I haven't heard of them in a while. I think the name of the palette is Follow the Leader. The only Follow the Leader that I know is from JLo in collaboration with Wisin and Yandel. If you know, you know. That's the only Follow the Leader like song-ish thing that I know. So these two palettes look like CD containers. Does Gen Z even know what this is? Anyway, friends, I don't understand it. Not gonna buy it. Separate from the fact that I was never like the hugest fan of either of these bands. I can't even name a song by Korn. I also am not very attracted to the color stories. And I, I'm more excited about the Adept stuff and honestly some of the other stuff that we're going to be talking about today and some of the stuff we talked about last week. Like, I'm much more excited about those. Moving on, I already talked enough about that. Bunky Beauty is coming out with a quad. I think it's a multi-chrome quad because it's $62, friends, and it is already available for pre-order. I definitely have these colors time and time again in my collection, so not buying, but it's beautiful. It says these are called Rainbow Pastel Extreme Multichrome Quad. Friends, the next thing I want to talk about is from Rude Cosmetics. I have seen a lot of Rude Cosmetics at TJ Maxx, and I have seen palettes that were brand new, they were not even touched, and I have wondered about purchasing one or two for research for this channel but i've never really heard of this brand like and and then i opened some of them and the colors just seemed very morphe and i wasn't sure if it was just yet another third-party manufactured brand so 
There goes that. And I kind of feel the same about these two palettes. On top of the fact that I've said time and time again that you do not need these many colors in a palette. You literally could reduce each of these palettes to probably 12 pans and you would have not missed anything. But if you're interested, I think the top one is called Florist and the bottom one is called Gardener. And they're $24 each and they are already available for purchase on their website. The next thing I want to talk about is from Dandy Lions Co. Friends, every time I hear that name, I remember Dandy Lion Sticker Club. Does anybody here remember that? Am I aging myself? I feel like I'm aging myself. You didn't hear that? You didn't hear that? Okay, so you can buy these either with a palette for $50 or without a palette for $40. The color story is kind of nice. I've never used this brand, so I can't comment. The palette's name is Frog and Lotus. It unusually reminds me of that palette by Glaminatrix. What's the name of that palette? Nocturnal. And I really love that palette. And I don't know if I need a dupe for that. This kind of looks like a dupe for that. Doesn't it? Now that I'm looking at it a little more, maybe not exactly a dupe, but just from afar, it kind of looks similar. Friends, don't forget to use someone's code and get some money off. Also, don't forget to let me know if you've used this brand. I'm curious. I'm totally one of those people who would tell you, don't go buy this. And then the next thing you know, I've purchased it. But moving on right now. Oh, friends, I was so excited about this because as you all know, because you have watched my video where I'm talking about the brands I would like to try in 2023, that... Pink Rush Cosmetics is one of those brands and they have so far revealed this and I'm excited to see the color story. It's a 12 shade. It's supposed to have mass shimmers and duochromes. Web of Deceit, friends. I even like the name. Again, friends, don't forget to use someone's code when buying stuff. The next thing I want to talk about, we briefly talked about last week. At that point in time, it hadn't been revealed yet. And I know at this point there are already some reviews online available it's from nomad and it's called love and death i think last week i said heaven and hell well that wasn't so far right kind of kind of the same thing i suppose except for the fact that i would say in heaven and hell red would be negative and blue would be positive and here blue is death and red is love Okay, I think it's sort of themed after Romeo and Juliet for Valentine's Day. You know, they always do a destination, so I'm assuming the destination is Verona. I've traveled to Verona, friends. You all know that I've traveled to like 40-ish countries. And I've definitely been to Verona. I've definitely seen Juliet's balcony. This palette has 12 velvety mattes, 4 intense shimmers, 2 sheer shimmer toppers. I really like the color story, although I feel like it's been done before. I could see myself pick this up if I hear really good reviews about it. It's $47 and it's going to launch on Tuesday the 24th. Let me know what you think about this palette, what your experience has been with Nomad. I didn't have the best of experience with Nomad's Fête de Provence palette. I have a review in this channel, I'll put it on. The shimmers of Nomad are very thin. Now that doesn't necessarily bother me because they do have very unique shimmers. But I did not have luck with their mattes. We are going to be using this palette again today because I have used this palette in the past and I would like to use it again. I really like the quality of this palette. I could be convinced to purchase this palette if I hear good things about the quality. I kind of feel like Nomad has been a hit or miss for me, although I've been wanting to love their palettes. So let me know what your thoughts are or if you absolutely want me to purchase this palette. I feel like I'm looking for an excuse to purchase the palette, but I know that from the past I haven't had the best of experience. So as we just saw, we're getting into the Valentine's season with all of these heart-shaped releases and so on, or love-themed releases, red and pink sort of color themes and things like that. I'm going to use this 
brush and I'm gonna go into this orange I'm gonna to try to do a very orangey ready kind of look the next thing I want to talk about is another brand we've talked about in the past this is s and B beauty I think last time I called them sand B beauty they are coming out with another collection we've talked about one of their other collections I think that was related to what was the name of that collection reindeer games or something it was named after reindeers it was so cute it was for Christmas this one is for Valentine's Day it's 12 shades in the collection called hearts desire at least from the look of it it looks like it's Valentine's Day themed I think if I remember correctly SNB Beauty has single sort of multi-use shades so I'm thinking these can be used as eyeshadows they can be used as face blushes and things like that it's beautiful I don't have a need for this right now I also have a lot of blushes I probably should do a declutter video of my blushes because I just have a lot of blushes and I don't really use blushes on my face MBA cosmetics is restocking celestial moon palette beautiful palette we've talked about before so if you've been waiting for it now is your chance to pick it up again I can't say this enough times don't forget to use someone's code if you're buying any of these products to get some money off friends the next thing I want to talk to you all about is the reason we're going to be dabbing into this beauty today now this is one of the lesser used BH cosmetics palettes that I have because it's very pastel leaning I think I've mentioned in the past that I can't use a palette like this by itself usually because it washes me out I have very dark features using pa uh, colors like this makes me look like I have used a low quality brand so I usually have to complement this with something that is, has darker colors which is why I thought I should use it today because the Edge Cosmetics has a new release they are releasing three quads of eight dollars before I talk about those let me quickly go into this red color you all probably remember that BH Cosmetics came out with a good bit of eyeshadow quads last year I want to say sometime middle of the year so earlier in the year BH Cosmetics got acquired by Revolution it took them a bit of time and sometime in summer they released a bunch of eyeshadow quads I had not heard the best of things about those eyeshadow quads so I didn't pick any of them up and now they're releasing these three now friends it took me a little bit of time to realize these are not the same thing because literally minus that red pink coral shade the rest of the colors look the same to me <laughs> I can't understand why they're doing this you don't need the same palette repeated three times anyway these palettes are available already for eight dollars and you can use someone's code to get some money off in case that wasn't already obvious from my comment I'm not picking these up and that's kind of unfortunate I really liked the BH cosmetics of 2019-2021 I have if not every single palette a lot of the palette eyeshadow palettes of their breakfast collection and the that other collection the destination collection I even have them in their original packaging and whatever I didn't have I purchased from TJ Maxx when I found them at TJ Maxx after they declared bankruptcy so it's kind of unfortunate to see BH Cosmetics not be as awesome as it was before I kind of miss that another thing that I've heard recently and I'm hoping it's just a rumor is, is that Beauty Bay is not doing so well now Beauty Bay is another one of those sort of affordable high quality brands for me and I would be very sad to learn that Beauty Bay is not doing well if that is in fact the case because I really love their eyeshadow palettes I was actually looking forward to them releasing something you know in the first quarter of this year because they usually do that but let's move on I feel like I talked about this enough continuing with Valentine's Day releases we have obviously ColourPop so ColourPop is releasing this and friends when I saw this you know what I thought about they had a release in 
I think it was 2019, there was a Strawberry Dream collection and they had a nine pan palette that came out with that collection that I still have. And I love that nine pan palette. I love the eye looks I can make with that nine pan palette. It's nine colors, so it's not an exact dupe for this, but I think you can make more or less the same kind of looks with that as this. This has some deeper shades than that, but friends, I also have a lot of the ColourPop nine pan reds and dark burgundies and so on. The wine collection, what was the wine collection's name? Don't remember, but you all probably already know what I'm talking about. I probably have 200 dupes for this palette, every single shade in this palette, in my Just Color Pops. So I'm not buying this. But it's a nice Valentine's Day palette. So they're coming up with a bunch of things, friends, right? Like they have hard compact shades. Now, friends, those are super cute. And since they came out with them, I think two years ago it was when they came out with them first, I've been wanting to pick one up. I still haven't. But I feel like one of these days when one of them goes on sale, I'm going to pick one up. I have a lot of ColourPop highlighters, so I'm not really on the market for either blushes or highlighters, which is part of the reason why I haven't done that. But they're coming out with five of those for highlighters and four of those for blushes. And they're also coming out with glowing lips in three shades. They're coming out with two face stamps that I think are heart-shaped. Also, Cherry Lip Balm and Lip Scrub Dual. That would be something I'm interested in. I'm always in the market for lip scrubs because I have very, very dry lips and they're frequently cracked and they just, yeah. I need to take better care of them. That's what it is. The name of the collection is Flirty Talk, in case I didn't already say that. It also looks like there is a little keychain that is super cute. And all of this you can purchase on ColourPop website right now for $149. And it's available. I'm on the site. Okay, friends, the next thing I wanted to talk about was this one. What does this remind you of? Doesn't this remind you of Serenity? I felt like this palette was kind of a dupe for Serenity. So this is called... Feeling Inspired by Ladybug Glow. I find the name Ladybug Glow kind of cute. I find ladybugs cute. Also, they bring good fortune, so. According to the website, this is only available in limited quantities, and it is $34. You can use code to get some money off, and it is available. It also seems like Ladybug Glow sells on Etsy. So just FYI, very cute palette. I could be tempted to buy this, but I feel like it's just too similar to Serenity for me to be convinced to pick it up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Another release by Ladybug Glow that came out earlier this year is this one. I feel like if you remove the outer packaging and replace it with white, you will see the color story better. And the only thing that bothers me in this color story is that matte black. Friends, what's going on with matte blacks? Is that a black or is that a dark blue? It looks like a black. This palette is supposed to have six pressed pigments, two multichromes, one matte and one shimmer. I think the colors that are at the bottom, if you see those two colors at the bottom look like the transition between sort of magenta and pink to greens and sort of olive colors. So I think those are the two multichromes. This became available earlier this month and it's on sale for $31. Not on sale, but it's it sold for $31. I've never heard of this brand, although I, as I said, I think the name is cute. Let me know what you think. Have you used this? What are your thoughts? I'm going to quickly use the same brush just to bring that color the red color under my lower lash line and i'm gonna pick the first brush and just blend these two colors into each other a little bit friends i want to talk about a collaboration between sigma beauty and okay i'm gonna get her name wrong and knook i'm hoping i'm saying your name correct and apologies if i didn't 
This palette looks to me like a palette from 2018 where we used to do neutrals with a pop of blues. I think that says it all. Congratulations to Anne. I think it's great to be able to collab with a bit brand, but I'm not going to pick it up. The palette is not colorful enough for me. But if you're interested, I'm excited for you and I can tell you that it's already available and it is $65 on the Sigma Beauty website. The next thing I want to talk about is a couple of things that are coming out from Revolution Beauty. The first one is this one. So Makeup Revolution is collabing or has collabed with Minnie Mouse. Okay, and as it is with all of their collabs, I should say their weekly collabs, there is a whole lot of things in this collab. I think all of them are under $15. I think the only thing that is $20 is the Iron Face palette. Literally, other than the packaging, this looks like a super neutral color story sort of thing. The only thing I'm excited about is the nails. As you know, I always wear press-on nails. And friends, speaking of press-on nails, I'm wearing wintry nails. Let me quickly show you. They have a mousse and snowflakes and things on them. So they're super cute. Yeah, but I think I mentioned in the past that I learned that Revolution Beauty only has 16 nail pieces in their fake nail collections, which is possibly not enough for you to be able to get a correct set for your fingers because you know people have different size nail beds so 16 pieces are might not be enough they might be but they also might not and i kind of don't want to jeopardize that i don't know to buy ten dollars worth of this and then realize it doesn't fit my nails but if you're interested all of these are available on the revolution beauty website they should already be available okay beauties i'm using a little bit of nyx's glitter primer tapping this on my eye and on this one revolution beauty has come out with another thing and these are called i think these are for valentine's there they're called the ultimate desire eyeshadow palette collection and there's three of them 95 percent neutral colors they're already available they're nine dollars each but they're just too neutral for me the only one that kind of caught my eyes is the one that has greens but it only caught my eyes from the position of saying i want to dupe this i like the combination of mauves and olive greens but why does it have two matte browns that look kind of exactly the same color is one of them shimmery and it's just not obvious in the photo i can't imagine you duping colors in a nine pan moving on but before i move on i'm going to go into this beauty i'm going to start with this and i'm going to put this in this portion of my eye let's do that for a better effect i could have also done a cut crease so that this color doesn't have to go over red but that's okay yeah friends the next one i want to talk about is the quads that have come out from la girl cosmetics these quads look nice i was actually kind of taken aback by this particularly you know which one caught my attention the olive green one that one is beautiful although i don't think you can use it by your, by itself because it looks like it's just all shimmers are they all all shimmers or am i just Maybe the photo doesn't look very well, but that one looks like it's all shimmers. I would be curious to know how these perform. So maybe I'll pick one to test in this channel. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I have purchased from LA Girl in the past. I have some of their 16 pan palettes. I think I've talked about them in the past. I don't think I've ever reviewed. And the quality of their shadows can be pretty good. Some of the 16 pans I have from them, I really, really liked. Some of them I ended up decluttering because they were very neutral and I was just not reaching out to them. But the quality was still pretty good, particularly for the price. I'm trying to do an unexpected look, which is why I'm going to go into this color called Rush Hour. And 
I have lived friends in Southern California and a rush hour is an insane time to be on 101, the highway. You probably are gonna take five hours to get home. So I kind of understand why they would put rush hour as a color name. <laughs> And another thing that's releasing from LA Girl is these Stellar Ink Foil Eyeliner Pens. I have used LA Girl eyeliners in the past and they're okay. I wouldn't say they're the best kind. I use the neon ones. I'm not a big eyeliner per pen person. I'm not a big eyeliner person as you have seen on my channel because I have very dark lashes. I don't really need to even use eyeliners but if you're interested they're seven dollars each and they're already available friends a couple of things are coming from essence the first one is this blooming wings eyeshadow palettes they're cute i have not heard the best thing about essence eyeshadow quality now maybe it's hit or miss i've never used them but i haven't heard the best about them but if you're curious these are cute I like the middle one of course because that's the most colorful one these are $13 a piece and they're already available and they're also coming out with this one this I think is an extension to their destination collection this palette is called welcome to Marrakesh friends I don't think whoever designed this has ever been to Marrakesh these are not the colors of Marrakesh, friends. I've been to Marrakesh twice. What's this? Honestly, it's embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. I don't even really want to talk about this palette, but now that we're talking, it's $10 and it's already available. But what's this? If I were to design a Marrakesh palette, I would at least put turquoise blue and dark blue, like Azuli kind of blue what is this and why pink let's talk about a couple of things for lunar new year i feel like i mentioned i haven't seen a lot of exciting things and brands got, got offended and released a bunch of things so beautylish is coming out with this brush if i remember correctly they come out with a brush every year this is super cute but friends the price is insane this brush is $125. Like, can you believe that? Is it made of gold? It better be. It better be made of gold. I'm legitimately reading the instructions to see if it made, it's made of gold. Because you never know. The, the carving or whatever is on it might be made of gold leaf at least. Although gold leaf is not expensive. But hey, they could... You never know what marketing does to prices. Yeah, I... It's cute, but not $125 cute. And this one, friends, I never got to talk about. This is a release by Tarte. It's called Sweet Tarte Cravings Palette. I think the idea is that each of the pans is supposed to be like a chocolate. And honestly, it looks like they've gotten this down. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, that totally does look like a chocolate box. Of course, it's all neutral colors, so not for me. And if I were to buy an all neutral palette that is chocolate themed, I would probably purchase the one the color pop came out with. What was the name? Not a box of chocolate or something. This nine pan palette is $32 and it's already available. Friends, I'm pretty sure you can get some money off with some discount code at Tarte. And now that we're talking about new Lunar New Year, let's also talk about this one. Estee Lauder is coming out with a lipstick that has a rabbit on it. It is $36 for this single lipstick. I mean, I don't know. You tell me. I'm sure I've spent once or twice ridiculous prices for lipstick, but $36? Are you for real? And now that we're talking about lipstick, friends, let me just walk you through a series of lipsticks that have come out. I'm going to do this fast. We mentioned it last time, and that's going to be the plan for the foreseeable future. I am generally on a no-buy for lipsticks. In the past year, year and a half, I decided not to purchase a lot of lipsticks. And the reason is because my lipstick collection is extremely extensive, and I'm not going to purchase new ones until I go through at least half of my collection. I used to be the person who would say, Oh, this whole collection is coming out. I'm going to go buy 16 new lipsticks. 
Yeah. So moving now to the brands that have released lip stuff. First one I want to talk about is Revlon. Didn't Revlon go out of business? I think they went out of business and they got bought. No, they didn't get bought. Then I think people put money into their stock and now they aren't out of business. I don't remember what exactly happened, but doesn't matter. They're coming out with a whole lot of new lipsticks. The Colorstay Suede Ink lipsticks. They are $13 a piece and they're already available. The next thing I want to talk about is Natasha Denona is coming out with two lipsticks. And friends, I think the two colors look the same to me. I don't see the huge difference between these two colors, but that could just be me. And it seems like it's a lipstick with an associated lip pencil. And the names are Amelia, which is crimson red, and Gigi, which is ribbon red. I'm not sure what ribbon red exactly is. I'm also not a Natasha Denona fan. These came out yesterday and they are already available and yeah you can go purchase them i don't have prices but hey it's natasha denona so they could be like 200 dollars. the name of the collection is i need a rouge lip stiletto and i need a rouge lip crayon i think the stilettos are the lipsticks and the crayons are the pencils the next lipstick collection has come out from wet and wild these are Mega Last Lock and Shine Lip Color and Gloss. I think there's a lip color and then there's a gloss that is at the end of the container that you can probably put on top of the color to make it look more shiny. Wet n Wild has also come out with Rose Comforting Lip Color. These are $6. The other ones, the, the one with the lip gloss was $7. Essence that we just talked about has come out with eight matte comfort lip liners and these are four dollars a piece and they've also come out with hyper matte lipsticks. I think again eight colors and these are five dollars a piece. I do have some of Essence's lipsticks. I have one right here. I like these. I think they're pretty reasonable for the price and these are all available at Ulta already. The next brand is About Face Beauty. They're coming out with a whole lot of new things. It's called Cherry Pick Lip Color Butter. And these are $15 each. And they're already available at Ulta. Friends, did I... I used to think that About Face was like sold at Walmart. Did I get that wrong? Because $15 seems like a pretty hefty price tag for Walmart. And the next release is from Tower 28. They're coming out with one line. God, the name is hard to say. One liner, multi liner. I think the idea is these can be lip liners or eyeliners or I don't know, brow liners maybe. And they are already available and they're $15 a piece. And the next thing from Tower 28 is their Lunar New Year collection, which has lipsticks and a lip gloss and a facial spray. The lip gloss says it's a lip jelly in shade spicy. And the collection is $28. I have to give it to them. The stickers are super cute. Friends, in case I haven't mentioned, I've been in China, in Beijing for the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year, and the stickers are cute and it just reminded me of the trip that I had. It's it's an amazing time to be in China during that time. I've also been in Singapore during Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. And we have another thing from Tower 28 and that is these. These are called Juice Balm Vegan Tint Lip Balms. Long name and they are $16 a piece. And they're coming out in two days at Sephora on uh, January 23rd. Now that we mentioned that, let me quickly highlight my inner corner with this color called The Hills. I'm going to just put this right here. This palette is very sort of, it's, the colors are very nice for lighting up other colors and using the shimmers to sh as shimmers for other sort of darker mattes 
but the palette itself doesn't have enough dark mattes to be used by itself. Okay, beauties, I'm back with the completed look. I put a little bit of this volumizing mascara from ColourPop in the color pink ink on my lashes. The issue I have with colorful mascaras is that they rarely show up on my lashes because I have black lashes, but it's there. You might not be able to see anything. I also put a little bit of ultra blotted lip in the color sleepy eyes on my lips. I don't know if this is available, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to let me know down below which one of these products are you buying? Which one did you like? Which one have you already purchased? Have you already used? And what your thoughts are on them? Thanks again, friends. I love you all. Have a fantastic day and until next time. Bye.